You got clutch. What's going on, people? It's your man Johnny Clutch Cards, aka Johnny Clutch Crypto. Anyway, earlier in the week, I did deliver a video on our unboxing of our brand new SenseCap M1 miner and setting that miner up, um, setting it up in the house, as well as configuring it on the Helium app, adding that hotspot into the Helium app. Um, so we are here a couple days, a few days later, um, and I just wanted to give everybody an update. Um, obviously, during this week, uh, Helium did hit over 100,000 hotspots uh, worldwide. Um, and the market price was, I think, at a low of $11. Now it's back up to roughly 14 bucks. So that's good. That's great. Um, we are probably, uh, today is the 30th, so we're a couple days away from the halvening. And um, I just got off a live stream with uh, Parlay Labs, one of the, the the distributor for the SenseCap miner. And uh, if you are after this particular device, one of the ways you can get one is by following uh, Parlay Labs, following C SenseCap on all their social media platforms. Um, just now on the YouTube live stream, they put a hundred miners uh, live for purchase. Um, in, in during the actual event uh, for purchase with, and they, they got snapped up just like that. Um, they did have the caveat that you can only get a maximum of three. Uh, so if you order any, if you try to take any more than three, your order will automatically be canceled out. So just follow them on their social media platforms um, and just be diligent about that. And who knows, you might look up and get you one. Um, and you know, you know, happy hunting. We will also be, hunting you try to get another one to go you know so we can have at least have twins uh because uh from what i've seen online that can uh, greatly increase uh your hnt rewards so with no further ado we're going to try to get drilled down here and find our miner and see how we've been doing um we were able to get fully synced we have cleared i think seven uh, uh, six of the seven steps of progress. The only thing we haven't done at this point is transfer data. So we're just going to drill down here. Right. So this is my general area. Right. Um, if we click here, this is our hotspot, Abel Bronze Tapir. I didn't pick the name. <laughs> you don't get to pick the name either, just in case you are wondering, because I know before I got a miner, I was like, man, I would never pick a name like that. Uh, but you don't get to pick the name. So that makes a lot of sense. So I got on the line. This was, this, was, this gives kind of like a layout. I got on the line four days ago. Um, my hotspot is still being relayed, even though I think I troubleshot that to kind of plug it in. Um, currently, I am synced as of four hours ago. My transmit scale is at a one. My earnings is 0.294. All right. And 15 beacons. We have two total witnesses. I thought I had more helium than that. On the app, it showed like 1.08. So let's, let, let, let's finish looking at this. So uh, the earnings show four dollars over the last 24 hours oh here you go seven days so seven days which we haven't been up seven days we we've we've earned 1.084 helium or roughly 15 bucks at the current price of helium our recent activity shows that we created a challenge about four hours ago um we received mining rewards 17 hours ago we sent a beacon 17 hours ago we received mining rewards 19 hours ago so you know, roughly like kind of lumped together. Uh, seven day average on beacons is 15. We had two total witnesses um, thus far. And if we go over to activity, this actually breaks down the individual entities. Challenge beaconer, San Jose. Okay. Interesting. I'm learning this too while we're on the, while we're on the, in the video, actually. So we're going to take a look and just go through rewards. I was hoping maybe we get lucky and hit like a consensus group uh, right before the happening uh, to kind of you know put us in the, back, back in the driver's seat. But so far so good. Still, like 
it shows here my my miner receiving uh mining rewards uh going back to oh, okay it doesn't show the whole it doesn't show the whole time period but it shows over the 29th boom 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 and so it's i'm still upstairs uh by the window well the wall part because uh, i did uh see some videos talking about being against a wall versus being against a window and how the window could interfere more um, data wise we haven't transferred data this is the only thing that we haven't done uh, of the seven steps of progress um, and if we take a look at our actual witnesses fun silver donkey and crazy velvet guppy are these two which is this one here fun silver donkey there's two here which is kind of weird right so I've seen crazy velvet guppy right but I haven't witnessed brilliant nylon kangaroo right so let's take a look at them the transmit scale is lower it's 0.5 it says synced as of two hours ago and they have earned rewards in the last 24 hours so it's kind of weird that I'm not seeing this one but I'm seeing one that's in the same hex um, so currently my antenna actually kind of points I, I kind of point my antenna in this direction you know kind of because you know I, I know where my general area was in where I am in in relative position to where these points are and uh, I think that I think that did help because I think the first day it was just kind of pointing up and uh, that so still learning a lot uh, researching uh, antennas and learning about how antennas work things of that nature um, I'm looking into those things and trying to optimize the setup in some way so if you know of ways to optimize please leave your comments or questions down below uh, under the video I, I try to get back to every person there I'm learning hopefully you're learning uh, let's share information and figure out how we can make this better um, I do still have two uh, Bobcat miners on order and uh, once they come in or if I get a second since since cap M1 I'm gonna try to you know do what they what what the guy is doing over here where he has two kind of in the same hex but try to get a little bit more space so that I can get uh, uh, optimal rewards here um, a couple of the other locations that I'm kind of looking at um, for this is Let's take a look at Houston in general. I have a lot of friends who live here, like in the Galleria area. So I think this could be profitable um, or be like a good place to kind of put your miner here. Um, don't know anybody lives in like a tall building. Uh, I do have access to a tall building uh, up in this area where there are absolutely kind of like no miners. Uh, let's take a look. Where is the belt? I mean, where is uh, six, uh, the Beltway? The Beltway. This, this is Jersey Village. Yeah, so it's got to be up in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so like in this point, there's a tall building I can get access to here. I'm trying to put it at my desk and see if I can get these guys. But I'll probably need a stronger antenna. What are your thoughts? Anyway, this is super duper exciting. Um, I hope this information helps you. Um, and, you know, like I said, please feel free to leave a comment down below uh, what you want to see next. Questions that you have. Uh, the first video that we put up got a lot of good response and uh, got a lot of conversations going. I was able to, you know, chat back and forth with uh, other people in the same boat, kind of going on this whole uh, HNT journey. Um, so at any rate, once again, I'm your man, Johnny Clutch Cards, aka Johnny Clutch Crypto. I am for the people, by the people. You only got me and the Constitution. Remember that.